Welcome back to Europa Universalis, Birth of Nations, with myself, Master Roost, and Zatelier. Hello. Um, I'm in the middle of a war for France, and I really, really hope this ends quickly. And I'm currently about to get some rebellions. Oh, happy days. I actually haven't checked how big they are, 8,000, so that's going to be pretty easy, actually. Okay, this war might end quickly because we already have the war goal. Hold on. Norway is independent. What? My thought is exactly. Oh? Uh -huh. Sweden isn't? Yeah, Sweden but isn't. Norway but... is. Huh. That's I wonder if that was another one of those uh, Muscovy things. Probably. Release Holstein and Norway. Huh. Fascinating. So, um, France. I'm gonna siege down Wallace and then I'm gonna bugger off to the north. Because I kinda wanna pummel somebody. Just so that you know, I actually rivaled Burgundy. Okay. I am now allowed to declare the war, so that's good. Oh, yeah. But what I want to see is that France owes me favors. <laughs> A lot of favors. Yeah, it's usually a good thing. Because I think I still have uh, a slot left. I do, so I could actually rival Burgundy as well. Which reminds me, while I sit on there, let me go Diplo. Oh, hang on. Provinces of interest, please, Diplo. There we go. Oh, Saxon is fighting someone. Oh, Wurzburg is conquering Mainz. So it might have an opening. Oh, yeah. So, 42% on Wallace. Alright, Siege of Wallace is over. Let's flip that to France. Okay, uh, right now, if I die, I'm not gonna get the Emperorship. I can try to fix that. If Mainz falls off the radar before you declare war on Burgundy, Flip uh, me the electric ship and then ask him to release mains. Oh, yeah, I mean. Uh... Wait, mines is actually being seized down by uh, Trier? Uh, Trier and Würzburg. Würzburg, okay. The Burgundy has nothing to do with this one. Nope, clearly. Right, France, I think you can take this one on your own now. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> yeah, I think I need to sit on my hands for a little while here. Not only because of the accuracy expansion, although the coalition hasn't fired yet, but on the other hand, I do have peace with most of the people that would join the coalition anyway. Um, I got a diplomatic insult crisis belly on Friesland. That's crude. Although you can't That's take it. provinces with diplo insults. If I remember correctly. No, you can't. But I do have claims on them, so... <clears throat> Excuse me. Saxon Lauenberg has no heir, but they got a 16 year old leader. Um, 
I can call you in. Uh, against Friesland? Yep. Uh, that'd be Dichmarschen and Salzburg. I mean, I got the rebellions coming along, so if you don't need me, I'd okay. sit okay, I'll for a that. little while. I mean, I could probably, after <laughs> I've dealt with the rebellions, I can... It's alright, I got military te uh, tech 7 and they have 6, so... Oh, okay. Let's go. I will not call you in then, and I'll just go for this. Confirm. No, 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 don't run. You just die tired. Thank you. <laughs> Their morale was low as fuck. Well, they were not ready for a war. Nope, I was. Mostly because I've been in wars for the last, what, 10 years? Uh, alliance breaking between me and England. Oh my. Um. Well, okay, I guess. Why not? Let it go. Then at least I don't have to make the choice. Choice is made for me. Indeed. Right, now if I die, I will be the Emperor again. Oddly enough, uh, only three people are voting for the reform right now. Uh, is Utrecht voting for the reform yet? Mm, I don't think they are. Nope. Oh, weird. And it's only Anhold, uh, me and you. Huh. Feels like people don't uh, respect me or something. Yeah, you'd think so. Which is weird. Well, I got the call on Neumark, so I can finish that mission. Awesome. Now I got claims some Pomerania. Norway has declared me their rifle. Okay. Sure, Norway. Sure. Root the rot, or we'll have to let it slide. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll take some. Cor oh, Jesus, that's a lot of corruption all of a sudden. It's going down. Okay, I am no longer allied to England. Yeah, I know that. Because I'm still allied to France, so. And helping them in a war. That's not helping me. Actually, let's have a quick look. Are there anyone that. Would like to be vassalized. No, because it's the Empire. Indeed. And I mean, I'm not a very rich nation yet. Friesland doesn't want to be vassalized. <laughs> I see what you mean. <clears throat> okay, Bohemia shouldn't be able to join the coalition against me, and the rest of the people have truce with me. So, no coalition. Yet. Oh, nice. And, I mean, even if there was the people that would join it, I could easily take them by myself. Benefit, as soon as I have Friesland as my vessel, uh, I finish a mission and immediately can start uh, annexing Utrecht, uh, that is to say, as soon as France has finished that uh, war of theirs. Ah, yeah. And they're doing pretty fine. Yeah, they're at 80%, so they should be doing fine. Ottomans are declaring wars left and right. But Hungary is pretty big. Yeah, they're doing alright. Uh. Why is Fadal so so large near the Mamluks? Huh. I don't know. Interesting. I mean, they are guaranteed by QQ. Oh yeah, that helps a little bit. Okay, there's not going to be a rebellion on this side, it seems. So I can run... Oh wait, they might still be in there. Well, we can walk there and get this unrest down and wait for a little while. Oh, I can't take Aachen easy. If I declare on Aachen, you are coming in on the other side. Oh, because they are a uh, free city. city. So that's a shame. Well, we can wait until I'm not the emperor anymore. Yeah, but it depends on who's going to become emperor. Ah. Seems well, I mean, done. technically, if I was to vote Saxony, 
We could make Saxony the bad guy, so to speak, and then I could just take them over. Okay, um... This is gonna take a while, I guess. Because <coughs> I can't walk anywhere. And I can't reach Death Martian or Salzburg, so I can't siege them down. Oh, right. And if you were the Emperor, I could, but I can't right now. I mean, if you were allies in the war, but I can't. True. That's alright, I'm just gonna let it tick. Um, blockade of Groningen with Diff Martian, okay. Oh, I had a battle there. Oops. Hmm, okay, so... so now everybody is gonna hit maybe at some point. I should probably move my armies starting from next month to the newly acquired lands. Hmm. I'm tempted to call you in just so I can reach Diff Martian. Well, I mean, at that point, yeah, my vassal can probably do something, but I'm probably gonna try to focus on keeping the rebellions not spawning. Fair. It's just that I can move around, that's why. Yeah, that's fair. And now they are moving as well, which is lovely. Oh, bloody hell. Well, I guess I'm gonna go help Mains. Oh? They called me in a war. Oh, oops. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't run. Ah, gotcha. Okay, so how... they got... I'm gonna take 6, 6, and 6. Ah, uh, everlasting victory. And they... owe me how many? 12 favors. Oh, nice. Okay, how's the piece now? Still not looking good. <coughs> So France now owes me 12 favors, and why the hell is... Oh, Salzburg is now walking this way. Okay, cool. So my siege will be finished before his siege, probably. That is good news. Emphasis on probably. <laughs> Mainly because I do have a fleet and they don't. Fair enough. Emperor is dead, and I am the Emperor. Oh, lovely. Very good. Okay, now there's ten people voting for the reform, but not enough. No, but it might take a while, but they might switch. Let's hope they do. Um, let's see, twelve there. Well, we won that fight. On the other hand, I don't think oh. I'm needed for this siege, so I'm gonna go over that way. Oh, France yeah, has but... unlawful territory. Okay, siege of this Martian is done. So let's siege you, siege you for peace. I want all your monies. That's not a lot, so. That's Diff Martian out. Good. And Salzburg just decided he doesn't want to play. Oh, bloody hell. Maybe he just keeps pouring in troops, yeah? Which means I'm gonna lose this fight. Is that mines? 
Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I could walk there, but it would Well, you're not me. part of the war. Exactly. Okay, you still don't want to do this. Well, hell. Well, at least their losses were about equal, although they were defending in the woods. Ah. Oh, right, I have regency for four years. But at least you are the emperor. That is true. So, <clears throat> I'm just gonna have to siege down Salzburg then. I guess so. Because they really, really, really don't want to stand still for more than one second. <laughs> and I am really, really tired of trying to follow them. <laughs> so, Salzburg, let's see for a peace deal. Uh, what is all your money? All your money is not a lot. Okay. But still. Uh, I think Salzburg decided to see, siege down one of your vassals, so no problems there. Yeah, I see them. And they are running away. This tradition. If we can get this piece done without having to totally siege down Salzburg, it's fine too for me. Oh, I see what they did. They cut up Bavaria like really harshly. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Could I give you, let's see, return Munich to Bavaria, 55% with the money. Okay. <clears throat> Don't know if I'm setting them up for uh, more collapse, but it's worth a try. Oh, bloody hell, I got revolt in Neumarks. But apparently, Pable Stay has troops there. What? Yeah. Okay. I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm fine. The Pope wants to take care of my rebels, that's fine. I mean, uh, <coughs> okay, reform desire is actually still pretty low. Yeah, more, more people need to make the, the hard decisions. Oh, yeah. 66%. It can still go up, though. Well, Salzburg, if you feel like walking all the way through all of Europe, I'm fine with that. I could call in France by now. <laughs> I won't, because I want to see if, save those uh, favors. Yeah, maybe against Burgundy or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have, uh, I have a need for Antwerp and... Uh, Brabant to be free. By the way, I'm assuming we are going to fight on the side of the Protestant League. You assume correctly. Well, let's put it this way. I will go Protestant. Yeah, so will I. So, yes, most likely. Even though I might not be in the HRE when that fight happens, but we'll see. True. Then again, as France and Spain, we weren't in the HRE and we still chose to fight, so... Yeah, and that was actually pretty fun, but quick fight. Yeah. That was a bit, a bit dirty. <laughs> How are you on wars? Can I speed up a bit, or...? Uh, you can speed up. I'm only at the war you are in. Okay, because the speed of the siege is slow. Yes, please. Give me a barracks. 
Oh, hello. Uh, I'll go for the improved war taxes. Thank you very much. Let's immediately get some war taxes going. Thank you. I just noticed something. And that is what? Oh, yes. Why, indeed. How old is my guy, anyway? 51. And my heir is 28. And he's a bit of a pant. That was still a reason, see? I'm out of manpower. This is a bit of an issue. Mm, did you need my help? No, not yet. Just wondering if Salzburg wants out. Oh! Just when you checked, I just died. So, Salzburg, would you currently... Okay, what if you... I don't have to give it back, no? Okay, 35%. Oh, crap, I forgot I was building an artillery piece in Berlin. Oh, um... Just got stack work. I think I'm gonna be done with this war now. Why, by me? Because Friesland actually accepted, and Bavaria now has one extra province again. France wants to marry me, sure. And that is a mission fulfilled. Acquire subjects, very much. Okay, 13 princes are for the reform and 39 are against it. Starting the annexation of Utrecht. Very nice. And yes, Friesland, I know you have liberty desire. Trust me, I'm aware. So I'm gonna improve the relations. And I'm also gonna see if I have any loans I have to pay off. Oh nice, 15 no. for the reform, 37 against. <coughs> oh it's getting better then. Yeah, it's getting a lot better now. Cool. Oh very good. Well, Krusty, I think it's time for you to train again. Gelre. Norway, Holstein, East Frisia, and Nassau. Holy shit. Oh, wow. I'm actually neighbor to Nassau now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So how's my AE looking? Again, surprisingly low. Did they change something in the AE and the HRE? I don't know. I'm ahead of time in military tech. Woohoo. Oh yeah, so am I. Huh. I just lost a claim on uh, one of Friesland's provinces, which is good. I think I just lost my clergy. Which is weird. But okay. Uh, that would be five workshops. That's perfect. Um, wait, what, what's that mission again? Work harder. Alright, I can actually make the boats now. Okay, abolish the tax. There goes my money. Yeah, I should set my boats to trading again. And maybe build a few more. Oh yeah, build a few more, alright. One, two, three... Four, five. No. Doesn't really help yet, so never mind. Yeah, I'm pretty happy. I've expanded by ten, uh, ten provinces so far. In 40 years. <coughs> um, one, 
two, three, four, five. In theory, five provinces. In practice, one. <laughs> oh yeah. I only vessels. got Breda, but then again, I have two vessels, which gave me a good th mission finishing. And PU between France and England. Oh crap. Oh my. So, I'm gonna need some... A succession war, okay. Yep. Got me scared for a bit, I thought a personal union with France and... Or England, yeah, either or. I mean, I, I thought that they would have personal union with each other. No, no, no. That would be scary. Indeed. So, that's the one downside. None of my vessels actually can have a royal marriage with. Because Utrecht is a theocracy and Friesland is an administrative republic. <coughs> that's a problem. Yep. Hmm. Well... That wasn't too bad for one episode. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Also check out our Patreon pages and the perspective of the other player. Other than that, we'll be back tomorrow with more EU4. Thank you all for watching and bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.